USD trying to put on the plot twist of the century. The fourth quarter is here. The drives with this lineup by USD on the floor. And it was a quick stint for Ange Kwame, who had who headed back to the bench when Dave's checked in. As on his third attempt with the quarter, Dave Addo finally gets to flips it before he falls. Here's CJ Cancino powers through. Layup is good. Cancino. It's a one-point game. C2 fast break of the game. Here come those Tigers. SJ top of the key. Belangel, another three. Another make. Wow. How many big shots, not only in this game, but also in game one, as SJ made a lot. Ira hands it off to Subido. Huang with it. They go to Ando with five to shoot, four Turnover. to shoot. That one, an overpass Don't by Dave Ando. Here comes the big guns. Chabio back in. Kwame back in. Ravenna back in as he just spot the McDonald's instant replay of CJ Cancino. That one trimmed it to one, but Belangel, to nobody's surprise, with an ice cold trimming, smarter decisions. They've been great in the second and third quarters. Ravenna, stop, pop, 15 footer. That's a rookie mistake by Nonoy. Cancino against 30. Nonoy with Wong on him. Nonoy out to CJ, thought about the three, now drives, floater over Kwame, will not drop. Oh, he cleans up his own miss, and it drops out, but Tabio is right there. Tabio. And the key there, because he did not settle, made a nice up fake, bow by drive, threw it up there, second chance, third chance, Tabio cleans it up. SJ, another three, another cold-blooded triple for SJ Benagel. How his big fifth. has he played? Out of bounds, unforced. Out of bounds, and and Subido line. steps out of Bounds, bounds but take a moment to talk about young right, SJ Belangel. The league is in good hands. Not only because of SJ, but because of a lot of young players in this league. But the moment. Nonoy thought about the screen. Nonoy splits the D underneath. Chabio. Oh, he finds Cancino. Cancino with the up fake. Sherwin for three. Knocks it Sherwin down. Right at the Gatorade hydration checkpoint. A much needed triple for Sherwin Concepcion. And he converts his first triple of the game. How about the gamble by Cancino and the unselfishness giving up a much higher percentage shot with the mid range? For that one by Sherwin, 30 goes yeah, to the cup. That is a weight room. Yeah. Steve, because Ateneo was all the way to a fast break. Here's that three by Sherwin. Much needed, but then after that, that is five years worth of hitting the Moro Lorenzo gym for 30. Their team, at least make it earn it, make 30 earn it from the line. What a time for the career high of Belangel to arrive. Ravenna drives again. This time, Abando stops it. William with the rebound. Wong trying to control, saves it. Matt with a huge heave, will not go. Ravenna with a rebound. And 30, Ravenna puts it in. Oh, what a shot by 30. What a rebound. Talk about wanting it more. That's when you thought all was lost for Ateneo. Ravenna saving the day. Sherwin wide to the left. And Matt Nieto cannot save that one. Oh, it goes out of bounds before that. This is reminiscent two years ago when he had that game-winning rebound and assist. But this one, just about everybody. Talk about elevation and the finish for a struggling 30, Ravenna just finds a way that time to score. It is gut check time for USD. They are down eight, 325 to play. 
They need a stop here and in a bad way. Edge over to 30. 30, two-man game with Kwame. 30 gets away! Oh, 30 had bad boy intentions on Chabi O. But the dunk did not go. Here's Navarro on the layup. Won't go. Kwame with a rebound. Still nothing. And one more try. Uh, and this time it Kwame. comes with a bonus. As good as good. The relentlessness uh, of the Ateneo Blue Eagles. First try, no. Second try, no. And when you keep trying, Christian, it comes with its rewards. On the fourth attempt, they get the two points and a three-point play opportunity. Offensive rebounding, killing USC. The last two possessions and turning into gold was Ateneo, but Kwame doesn't complete the two plus one. Back to a 10-point game, under three minutes to play. Concepcion to Abando. Renz will miss that one. And Matt Nieto with a pull down. An excellent challenge right there by Navarro. Just enough to force that miss on Abando, who was wide open for a second. Here's Matt. Two man game with William. Nieto, the spin. Nieto. That will drop. Kwame. They count it as Kwame. an assist to Kwame with a hammer. Where will USD find offense? Abando splits the gap. Subido up fake. Subido for three. In and out. Out of bounds. It will stay with USD as we are inside the final 120 of the ball game. Sedef Tupas. Sherwin, big three coming. That is it. That is good for USD. They needed that one. A quick conversion, and it's worth three. Here's Kwame underneath. Uh oh. And that's two free throws. They will force Kwame to shoot two free throws. Fast break, potential fast break of USD. Donoy will turn the corner. A wild floater uh, by Mark Donoy. Donoy. USD, not done yet. They're down eight with a minute and nine. Well, nonetheless, Donoy. Even in half court, it looked like a fast break with the finish. 30 all the way to the cup. Up by seven. In their own back court. 30. Can't find anyone. Mamu has it taken away by Abando, but Norway loses it. Ateneo crosses the timeline. 30 to Wall. USD has to foul. They're not fouling. They call a five-second violation on Adrian five Wall. So once again, USD elects not to foul, and they force another turnover. In a seven-point game, Chabio gets it. They're trying to free up Nonoy. Nonoy for three. Won't go. Kwame with a rebound. It's with Mamu. Over to Matt. Over to Edge. Clear lane. The clock runs out. 30 throws it in the air. And they have done it, ladies, ladies and, gentlemen. and gentlemen. The final score. The, the dynasty is cemented. There is no question about 86. it. The only team in the Final Four era to win at least three consecutive championships in a row. That title belongs only to the Ateneo de Manila Blue Eagles. Champions once again of the men's basketball tournament of the UAAP. What a perfect season for Ateneo. Number one in the league in defense. And a lot more stats to that. You know, the things you mentioned, a dominating, you know, was plus 17 in terms of the wins. So it wasn't only a perfect season, it was really a dominating one. You take a look at the expressions on their faces, Christians. These young men, led by that guy,